Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for um, the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of the Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support, likes, and shares. I love you guys so much, you Saggies. Okay, we are going to be looking at this um, new year for you, a uh, new month of um, October for you, um, obviously. Um, there is a lot going on in October so we are going to be checking out what is going to actually um, happening for you Sagittarius okay this month is a month of um, water emotion this month is a month of looking at things um, um, with an looking glass or with a uh, um, a glance to see what exactly is transpiring okay and this is wonderful and positive because um, it is the um, the energy of the um, the Pisces uh, scorpions so uh, please be aware of this because this month is going to be a, um, a really strange um, month for you uh, Sagittarius so for you Saggi I want to welcome you all um, please remember to cross read cross read is very important I love you all welcome all newcomers I hope you will stay um, for the extended reading uh, please connect with us um, on uh, the uh, on demand and you can use the link below to get to the on demand page okay Saji you have your uh, your own energies you and the Leas have your own energies so for you Sagittarius there is the energy of strength so um, this uh, month is going to be a month of strength it is your own energy so we are going to see what are you going to be aligning your own energies with because this is uh, the energy of the eight of infinity you are the luckiest sign of uh, the zodiac and this energy is out so we're going to be looking to see what's happening for the Sagittarius and calling up on the angels and guides um, for the Sagittarius Sun Moon and Rising um, to um, see what's coming in for you Sagittarius in the month of October 2018 so let's see what is coming out in the first week this is a new card the three of uh, the three of candles now the three of candles is a um, decision that you're or turning your back on a situation and you're moving to better grounds okay wonderful energy I'm seeing a lot of people deciding that some situation around them are not working for them and they are going to be turning their backs on this situation but moving forward to better grounds um, where um, their success and alignment of energies are going to be coming in okay so um, a lot of you Sagittarius in the first week you have a fire energy and uh, this is movement you're going to be moving in the first week whatever the situation is we're going to be looking at that but movement is in um, the energy vibration for you Sagittarius you could be moving um, homes you could be moving workplace um, you could um, be flying and traveling you could be doing business travel but whatever is happening you're going to be victoriously um, moving forward in a positive way you're turning your back on a career or a situation that works no longer and you're moving forward so let's see what's coming out for the second weeks for you Aquarians you have it the energy of the three so the ascendance masters are going to be working with you um, Sagittarians in um, this month I said Aquarians I'm sorry for you Sagittarians in this month this is an earth energy so first you have fire and then you have earth and the energy that is coming up is a wonderful energy because this is that you're going to be working with others to make a positive um, end into a situation and a positive new beginning um, for um, yourself okay so you're turning your back on something working with others to make a positive new start for yourself and this is going to be working out in the second week 
as we look at the third week let's see what's coming up for you Sagittarius the eight of tombs is here so a lot of work a lot of work in the second and third week this is earth energy so you guys are receiving balance from the earth sign people and the earth energy um, that is coming in so uh, because you have decided in the first week to move um, make a, um, a change um, this change is going to be happening for you um, so you could be turning your back on one work and starting another work and this is going to be good because uh, positive energies are going to be coming out and this is going to align you let's see what we have for the um, last week of October what is the energy we have for the last week of October we have art breaks or breaks comes up for the last week of October okay whatever the situation is whatever the art breaks that is coming in a loss in October um, last week of October there's going to be a loss um, so um, let's go and see what exactly is transpiring so what is connecting the Sagittarians in the first week to the second week the seven of veils the seven of fails so this is the seven of um, cups um, there's going to be a new opportunity you're going to get out of the dream space and you're going to be starting to do something um, you're leaving something behind and going forward looking for something much positive and much better for you okay let's see what is happening um, the four of Pentacles comes up in the second week going in the third week so you're trying to balance your financial stability you're working hard and trying to bring um, financial stability um, balance so some of you could be receiving a new job whether in the second week or the third week you could be receiving a new job okay so we're moving forward and we're looking to see um, what is going to be transpiring in the third week going in the fourth week why this heartbreak is here um, the two of um, the divine the divine is I princess comes up um, about a situation the divine the I princess comes up about the situation that is um, aligning you with information um, secrets are going to be coming out in the last week that is going to affect you Sagis. okay a secret is going to be coming out in the last week about work that is going to affect you Sagis. listen to your intuition um, and then as you listen to your information it does mean that this has to transpire the second week the three of tombs you're working together with others you have the energy of the angman you're seeing a situation um, that is happening you're seeing the truth of a situation that is happening with your financial stability you're seeing the truth of a situation that is happening with your financial um, stability you're working with others and you're seeing the truth of the situation and this is very good because you're aligning yourself let's see what's happening in the third week um, the eight of bells you're not seeing a situation um, properly you're really not seeing a situation properly whatever is happening you're not seeing a situation properly whatever is happening you're not seeing a situation properly okay and you need um, to see the truth of a situation that is coming what is the next message what is the next message what is the next message the coming out nine of Pentacles nine of Pentacles this is wonderful so um, you are going to be ending um, the month you are going to be ending the month with the energy of the nine of Pentacles which is good and I just saw um, 88 and I just saw 88 and there is 88 also in your reading there is a 33 88 which is in your reading um, three times three 33 88 three times three and now you have uh, um, nine so you're coming out of the month a financial uh, stirk um, you're coming out of the month financial stable and this is going to be good because what this is going to be doing for you it is going to be aligning you to move forward and leave a situation that no longer serve you behind okay so um, this situation is good that um, you are um, seeing this coming out um, so you're going to be um, receiving some financial stability okay you're working hard and this is going you're going to be working on your financial stability and this is very 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 positive 
I'm, I'm so happy for you guys because um, um, there's um, two other energies that has the energy of strength and you um, finish the week with the energy of the Pentacles there is not a lot of people who are receiving this financial stability um, um, in the month and you guys end the month with the nine of Pentacles and this is a very very wonderful and very positive okay very wonderful and very positive this is a good energy to finish the month so as I look and aligned um, the energies we're going to be looking in on the first week to see what is happening in the first week you decide to leave a situation behind looking for something better you're going to be seeing the truth of a situation about your financial um, stability you're going to really really in the first week seeing the truth of a situation with your financial stability not to worry because at the end of the month the outcomes is a nine of Pentacles that mean you are going your financial stability is going to be much better at the end of the month as we look at um, the second week the second week has to do with um, you working hard and trying to figure out what is the next move what are you going to be doing you're holding on on uh, all your financial stability um, and trying to find out what is the best decision what is the best move to do and this you're going to be finding out now in the second week going in the third week you're trying to build your financial stability you're trying to build your financial stability so um, what we're seeing here is that some of you are going to be working on your financial stability but you're not seeing a, a situation clearly of what exactly is happening and um, you're missing something there is something that you're missing which you need to focus on to find out what it is that I'm missing I need something now the eight of tombs you're working very hard um, via the psychic and uh, messages are going to be coming in to you listen to these message there's a lot of opportunities out there um, to uh, build on your financial stability and you will cry you will receive as you ask your angels and guides um, to show you you will receive these um, situation what I'm seeing here is the eight of tombs and um, um, regrets with the eight of tombs um, and heartbreak with the eight of tombs you're working on something you're working together with something and you know um, you're having some heartbreaks that is happening so um, if we are going to be aligning the energies to see what exactly is because uh, I'm seeing in the fourth week there's a heartbreak and um, your spirit guides come to you to show you because you're not seeing something clearly about your financial stability okay so it's a, um, a month where um, a lot of situation is going to be taking place um, some of you that wasn't seeing something clearly it's automatically you're going to be understanding what is going on because it's as if a negative energy is here that is blocking you and making you have all these worries this is what is transpiring a negative energy is here blocking you and making all these words and all you have to do is call upon the universal angels and guide and ask them to clear the energy around you and remove what is on you or what um, ask Archangel Michael to clear your energy um, and to clear the energies in your space and um, some of you if you can move it is better to move because obviously there is negative energy that was placed in your surrounding and if you can move it is better to move okay um, and then you will re release um, these negative energies okay um, I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back if you'd like to see an extended reading of this month of October please use the link and I'll see you um, at the on-demand page welcome